little mama bird. Whoop! She just flew away. Not mean for that to happen, but here we are. In any case, we can see the eggs now. Look at that. She came back and she had more eggs. Or it's a different bird and she notified different birds that, hey, you can lay your eggs here on Chris's porch in her dying plants now. Yippee. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. It is officially spring for everybody here on this side of the world. It is officially spring. So I thought today would be a great day to do something spring-like esque and it just so happens that here in Tampa right in our backyard is just such an event and it's called Green Fest Tampa Green Fest I really really wanted to go to this last year but we had something else coming up uh, during that time so I didn't get to go this time Tampa J is out of the state doing his own thing so we are in the state doing our own thing and uh, that's gonna be Green Fest today and I'm really really excited about it there should be a lot of plant vendors gardening tools gardening things and and all of that stuff that you need to get started for spring and me being a plant lover myself you know I'm very excited about this so you can also probably see I'm switching out the backpacks where fish it's just, it's spring everybody it's spring so I gotta I gotta start using my spring backpack so it's official it is time we're gonna check out the plants and do the things today so without further ado let's get going let's go also today's outfit even though it is spring i tried to wear something spring-esque that was like colorful and nice but honestly i just i it's one of those days where you just kind of hate everything that you put on so it was like you know what what if i just kind of went full on Bucky's goth today and I feel comfortable and I'm just gonna go with with this I got the flippies on though so at least at least I got that going for me I don't know what can I say everybody happy spring and just a short drive away we have made it the Tampa Garden Club 2629 Bayshore Boulevard I've never been here before very excited to check it out several parks nearby here and of course the beautiful Bayshore Boulevard and fortunately we were lucky enough to find parking it's not the smallest parking lot I've ever seen but oh boy there are definitely a lot of people here this event literally just started like 30 minutes ago <laughs> I meant to get here a lot sooner but I was up late last night hanging out with my parents so I decided sleep was more important. And I also brought a spare tote bag here for anything that we might purchase today. And here it is, the garden center. We're gonna just head straight on inside and I believe there's a flower show going on as well. So lots to do, lots to see, let's get in there. Okay, we've made it inside. This is a free event, by the way. So that's pretty awesome. And we were gifted with a nice little map here. So that's gonna help us out in finding everything. I think there's like over 50 vendors here or something like that, so oh boy. My next biggest concern is how many plants I'm gonna buy today. We will see. I should have known plant people were always up early, especially at events like these. You always wanna get here early and not late because all of the good plants are gonna be gone. So we're already a little bit late, even though it literally just started like 45 minutes ago. And I'm not sure what all this fuzz is on the ground, but I'm pretty sure my sinuses aren't gonna like it. And take a look at that, the beautiful Bay Shore Drive out here. Drove this quite a lot in the past couple of weeks to get to the hospital where my mom was. All right, we're just gonna dive into all of these awesome vendors and booths over here. This is pretty darn overwhelming. Bunch of orchids over at this booth over here in particular. I actually just got my first orchid uh, not too long ago. I was gifted it by Tampa J. Very excited about it. I don't know if I'll be purchasing anymore. I kind of want to see how my first one goes, but wow all the orchids you could possibly want. Ooh, we got some soil over here. That's pretty nice. I wouldn't mind getting some nice potting soil. Looks like they've got worm ca castings here, regenerate soil, and potting soil with worm castings in it. Very nice. Yeah, getting some really nice potting soil would be great. 
feels pretty good. I don't know what I'm feeling for, but it feels pretty good. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of plants for the outdoor space. And I'm seeing a lot of native plants as well, which is always a good thing. Oh, look at that. There's a, a butterfly was flying around here. It's always good to plant native and it's always good to plant stuff that attracts the pollinators like this guy here is doing. It's already got a bee on it. The milkweed I know is great for butterflies in particular. And the pretty blue flowers here are apparently delphiniums. I don't know if I've ever heard of that. I bet these are good pollinator ones. They are really, really, really beautiful. I like that. And also right in front of them we got some lovely lavender plants that are already in bloom. Might walk away with a lavender plant. Been meaning to get one for like the longest time. So today might be the day. I just realized the fluffy things are actually coming from this tree. It's kind of hard to see with the shadow there, but there's like big huge cotton balls up in that tree. Very interesting. If anybody knows what kind of tree this is, let me know in the comments below. Like we have some 106 year old rescued and repurposed California Zin Zinfandel grapevine. That's pretty neat. It's a pretty good wine. That's one of my favorites. We got some cork here. That's pretty darn cool. And those beautiful jingly sounds are these very lovely wind chimes here. These are super cute. They are beaded plant hangers and you can put little air plants inside of the little so little much. holes there. Super cute. You know I'm a sucker for the succulents. Got a lot of Haworthia over here. I used to have one. Actually I still have one. One of these guys here. A lot of different kinds. They're always really really cool to look at and succulents in general are usually pretty darn easy to maintain. These are some really good prices too. Not gonna lie, really good prices here. These really tall spiky boys over here are going for a pretty good price as well. Only $25 and $30. It'd be pretty darn difficult to uh, pick that up and get it in my car, but I could probably find a way. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. These are pretty cool too. They're in bloom as well, which is pretty darn neat. Probably gonna butcher a lot of names today, but this is an Ibervillia tenuisecta. Here's the name right here, but this is pretty cool. It's like this hard shell thing here, and then the, the leaves are like growing out of the top there. I've never seen that before. That's pretty neat. Also, these really cool, uh, I think these are actually succulents. I don't think that they're cactus, even though they've got the prickly things on there. Euphorbia, right? Yeah. I've always wanted the white one. Got some nice Colin Coey over here. These really cool uh, snake plants here. I definitely have one of those, but they're not as big. That's quite nice. More Euphorbia. They got really good prices over here. And this huge planter of string of pearls here, only $35. That's not too bad either. That is, that is a hefty thing of string of pearls. And this Euphorbia, is beautiful. That's probably gonna come home with me. One of these. That is really cool. Lots of cacti out here. Lots of cacti. Oh my goodness. They are my favorites. Oh, these are glorious. Oh no. How many cacti are we gonna come home with? I don't know. It could be quite a lot. Eat what you grow. Avocado, Barbados, cherry, star fruit. Figs, mango, miracle fruit, sugar cane. I imagine they have quite a few of those out here for sale. Looks like we have a flamingo lawn ornament out here. Tampa J would like that. Looks like some ferns, some alocasia. We got some lovely peace lilies that are blooming. That's always nice. My peace lily at home is actually blooming right now. It's that time of the year. I'll, I'll probably show you when we get back home here. These ferns are quite lovely. Six inch ferns, alocasia, calatheas, and sansevierias. Eight dollars or two for fifteen. I think that's everything that is on this table. Oh no. Oh no. This table here, ten dollars for each plant. See some really nice Hoya. Hoya is one of my favorites. I have like a very, uh, much thicker leaf than 
your typical plant. Okay. That's pretty cool. Some calapias over here too. I got this Hoya last year, if I'm not mistaken, whatever this type of Hoya is. I love it. Mine died very rapidly, very rapidly. And I'm chalking that up to it being my fault and not this plant being difficult to grow. So I don't know. I really love it though. I love how the leaves are just kind of like sticks. You know what I mean? And some ferns over here too. I really like what this is. Pachypodium lemmery. I don't know. It's another, looks like it's got some spiky things in there. That's kind of adorable. But yeah, a bunch of ferns, a green flame fern. Okay, never heard of that before, but that's pretty cool. Your staghorn ferns. We got these uh, maiden hair ferns over here. Ferns are so lovely. Oh, and some pothos, some lovely, lovely pothos. All right, Randy's bromulads and more. Quality bromulads and other plants for collectors and enthusiasts. I think I qualify for both of those. Here's their information there. I just bought a lot of plants. Just bought a lot of plants. I'm gonna do a plant haul at the end of this. Yippee! Got some other stuff besides just the plants out here, by the way. Something called Junior Gardeners. Looks like they've got some crafts for the kiddos, which I bet is actually really fun. They're actually working with plants right now, and I kinda wish I could join them, but I'm not gonna be that person. They've got some food vendors out here. Looks like some a sharpening service where people are sharpening probably garden tools. That's pretty legit. We've got some lovely specialty popcorn. Lots of people out here with wagons too, which is definitely more so what you need for this sort of thing besides a bag. The bag is working for now. If I had a wagon, actually it'd probably be a bad idea because I'd probably bring home a heck of a lot more. In this case, it's just what I can carry. This is really cool. It's called a crocodile fern. I have never seen that before. I see why they call it that because of the leaf pattern. That's amazing. And this just unlocked a memory for me of these uh, polka dot plants here. This is one of the first plants that I ever got was a polka dot plant. They're really, really pretty. They're not too difficult to take care of. It's a pretty good starter plant. Mine, I think it did eventually die or I gave it away. I can't remember, but nice to see it again. This place in particular is called Franny's Backyard Garden. I believe they uh, take place out of St. Pete. I think uh, the vendor was saying, I'm trying to keep note of all of these vendors and nurseries because I'm always on the lookout for nurseries to visit around here. This would be a good one for sure. Franny's Backyard Garden. We got some herbs over here. It's some of my favorite things. And I love that these are tiny little potted plants of them. More pollinator plants. Milkweed. Balloon plant. Never heard of that. Lots and lots of milkweed. That's That one I know for sure is really good for the butterflies. And we have some carnivorous plants too. Someday I'm going to have to invest one of these it'd be pretty cool to see that process also a little bit terrifying all the ear plants as well some of my favorites okay i think it's time to take a break from the outside it's quite hot quite humid let's go inside let's check out the flower show okay this is quite reminiscent of the flower show that i went to over at the naples botanical garden neat all of these different like tablescapes here that you people have decorated with flowers. Inside the adjacent room, we have the show with all of the plants and the awards. I say this every time. Someday I'm gonna have to enter one of these. I think that would be really fun to do. I also wonder what the judging requirements are. Like, what are they looking for overall? Probably a lot of things that we wouldn't even we wouldn't even think of. Ooh, these are fun. We used to have these too. These are really cool plants. They, uh, the leaves move depending on the time of the day. Oh man, haven't seen these in forever. I gotta grab some of these. These are oxal, ox, yeah, oxalis triangularis, false shamrocks. Yeah, I gotta get some of these again. Wow, look at this rosemary. That is glorious. 
That is doing, doing quite well. All right, with that, I think it's time to grab my last poichesses here and then head on out. Plant babies are secure, the AC is pumping, and we are heading home, and then I'll show you what plants I got. Look at that, fella, we're back home. We're back home, and it's only 12.30, and oh boy, is that glorious. I'm not leaving this apartment except for our walk for the rest of the day. That is amazing. We have the whole after, bless you, the whole afternoon to do activities, Bella. The whole afternoon. Also got some packages here. My shoes arrived, which I'm super excited about. I get to show you guys that today. Also stopped at Starbucks on the way home and I got my new favorite drink, the iced green tea matcha drink. And I wanted to say that this video's coffee is thanks to Mike Ham Tea Fan. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel and thank you so much for being such a bright spot on on the Twitter as well. Uh, I really, really appreciate you. Uh, such a such a nice, nice person. So cheers, thank you. So glad I got to shout you out today. I'm gonna use the whole rest of today to work on my plants. Uh, I'm not gonna film it. I might do a little thing for the TikToks because I think that's where I'm going to do a lot of my plant content, but I definitely wanted to film this and put it out for the YouTubes because it's a local event. It's not only plants, but it was a local event, which is really cool. And I heard a lot of people talking about what I think is gonna be another plant thing green thumb a green thumb event i'm not sure i'm gonna have to look into that and maybe we can check that out it seems like it's gonna be much like what we just did but like bigger like everyone was like super super excited about it so we'll look into that and see uh maybe maybe we can go to that and visit that but yeah anyway um the rest of the day i think it's just gonna be maybe cleaning up the apartment doing some plant projects hanging out with the bella and just enjoying all of this time, all of this time, uh, I don't know, at home. This like never happens. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the plants that I got and I'll also give you some plant updates. So these boys over here are doing pretty darn good. They sure do like this window here, which is a south facing window. My Raven ZZ plant here is just absolutely loving this window so she's just gonna stay here Alanis Morissette she's just gonna stay here uh, basically until we move um, but I wanted to show you her specifically because she's a raven ZZ plant so her leaves are black um, but when they grow they start off green and then you'll notice the tips of the leaves start turning black and then the slowly over time they will all start turning black here which i think is pretty pretty darn cool i wanted to point that out in case anybody out there decides to purchase a raven zz plant and they're like oh my gosh something's wrong with it because it's growing in green and not black well that's what it's supposed to do it's okay it's not a problem they will all turn metal black and goth very very soon also wanted to show these plants over here i have my hoya rope which isn't honestly looking the best i'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie but check it out it's blooming which has never happened to me before so that's pretty freaking amazing i am super excited about that and also my other zz plant which if you've been watching the channel specifically the plant videos then you will know we repotted this big boy in this huge blue planter here and oh golly is it enjoying sitting out here on the porch again this is a south facing porch front door area here and uh so it gets a lot of sun during the day which is what it really likes hard to do the plant stuff out here with mama bird uh making her nests out here um but in any case we'll be careful and consider it here's the peace lily here my peace lily that is in bloom that's right villa it's actually got two blooms on it which is pretty darn cool and i'll also show you some of the not successes here my tetrasperma is pretty much donezo 
This is one of the plants that was over in the corner where the mama bird was nesting before. So I never got a chance to water it properly. So that's basically done. And my calathea that I bought not all that long ago is basically done. I'm hoping the fiddle leaf fig will make it through. That's another one that was in the corner and uh, was impossible to water. So basically what I did was I moved all of my plants that were in that corner off to the side here. And then I moved the mama bird nest all the way over to the left hand side so she could have more privacy and I can access my plants. And then as for the plants that I purchased today, I did go a little bit crazy. So I got a couple of peperomia plants here. This is a watermelon peperomia. I do not remember, I'm not gonna lie, what kind of peperomia this one is but uh, it's really, really pretty, and I've always wanted to own one of these bad boys. I used to have a watermelon peperomia that is so cool. You could probably see why it's called that, so I think both of these babies will be very happy out here on the porch. So got my first alocasia, this tiny little guy here, and it's actually called an alocasia tiny dancer, which honestly, that's part of the reason why I bought it in the first place because that's a legit name. Elton John, that is awesome. That's probably now gonna be the name of this uh, plant, so that's really fun. But I really liked how the leaves look and how it grows, so I thought this would be a fun one to add. And then I just realized that this is a Tetraspermia, not the dead plant that I showed a second ago. That is definitely a Monster Monstera adansonii. I just forgot. But anyway, I got this Tetrasperma because um, it was a really, really good price. I think this huge guy here was only $8. So I was like, yeah, please. And then finally, I did get this Euphorbia, uh, Euphorbia, oh, oh goodness, Ur Uroginosa minor. We'll just say it's a Euphorbia, how about that? But I was eyeing these uh, at the, at the plant show, I think it's really cool that it has little yellow flowers up at the top. The spikes are like a deep red color. I don't know if you can tell. It just looks so awesome and I'm very excited about this. I love my cactuses. I love my spiky boys. So I got another cactus. This one is a Pylosacurus. Patchy Claudus, something like that. But anyway, I thought it was really cool. Like the coloring is really cool. If you can see, it's almost like a light blue color. And that is all of the plants that I purchased today. Very excited about them. Welcome to the family, everybody. Hopefully they won't die, but you never know. That's uh, it's part of being a plant parent is sometimes they grow and thrive and sometimes they die. That's just, uh, it's just kind of what happens. Um, and especially with the bird on the porch, it is very difficult for me to access my plants in general because I really try hard not to disturb her. So watering the plants has been very difficult, but um, we, will, uh, we will try our best. And ta-da, here are the brand new shoes. Got these online. So the other day, Thursday evening, Tampa J and I were shoe shopping. We went to the mall and we went shoe shopping and both of us pretty much striked out on all of the shoes that we found, except we did find some at Dick's Sporting Goods uh, that we really, really liked. But of course, the shoes that we liked did not have, they didn't have our sizes there. So we went ahead and ordered them online, which I typically do not do for shoes, but I pretty much knew that I really liked these. They were comfy from the little sample that I was able to put on and long story short, here are my brand new shoes. I've never owned Nikes before so I'm excited about that. These will be theme park shoes, convention shoes, all of the walking that we do shoes. And oh golly, am I going to be doing a lot of walking <laughs> tomorrow. So these came 
just in time. Super excited. And I think with that, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, kind of more of a vlog style video, a little bit more chill today, which is exactly what I wanted and what I was going for. Um, tomorrow, Sunday, um, two things actually. First of all, Green Fest is still going on on Sunday, March the 26th, I believe as well. So if you're interested in checking it out, you there's still time to do so. Um, and then also tomorrow, I have a really huge video planned that I've actually been doing a decent amount of research on for tomorrow. So it's going to be a long, long day tomorrow, a lot of walking and a lot of other uh things so very excited about that you all will see that a little bit later in the week and um but yeah so again thank you all for watching um hopefully you enjoyed this one um and yeah perfect way perfect way to really spend spring the first few days here of spring i sure do i sure do love the plants so this is a great day i'm so excited to relax for the rest of the day, hang out with Bella, do some plant projects, probably clean up around the apartment, um, and just get some stuff done because tomorrow is going to be a doozy of a day. So again, thanks all for watching and we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye everybody. See you later. Bye-bye. By the way, is anybody else playing Animal Crossing still? Anybody? Anybody? This game came out three years ago. Three years ago and Wow, that it helped me through some rough times, not only COVID, but just a lot of other stuff. And I'm getting back into it again, and what do you know, it's it's helping me out through some stuff now, too. If you play Animal Crossing, let me know. We can be friends, we can exchange fruit and all kinds of stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, well, bye everybody. See you soon. Oh, Mabel's here. Yay!